Hello students, I am teacher Shelly and I will continue my discussion about the three main parts of your eukaryotic cells, namely your cell membrane, cytoplasm, and the nucleus. Uh, we have already discussed about the cell membrane and the cytoplasm in our previous videos, right? So in this video, we will more focus our attention about the nucleus of the cell okay so the nucleus is found in most um eukaryotic cells okay it is the site where the nucleic acids are synthesized and therefore it also directs all the activities of the cell when you say nucleic acids then you 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 will think of the deoxyribonucleic acid or the dna and the ribonucleic acids or the RNA, right? The nucleus also serves as a site for the storage of hereditary factors. It is the source of RNA, which is a molecule responsible for various cellular functions, such as the genetic coding and genetic expressions. Okay, so in this part of, of our discussion, I will introduce to you the central dogma of life. Okay, as you can see in this image here, the DNA will undergo transcription to become your RNA. Your RNA will undergo translation to become your protein, right? So um, how about in this um, reverse transcription here? This only tells you that your RNA can be reverse transcripted or it will undergo reverse transcription to become your DNA, okay? And how about here in this one? Your, it only shows that your DNA can undergo replication. The DNA can replicate itself, okay? So that will be the central dogma of life. Your DNA will become your RNA and your RNA will become your protein because we human beings, including your plants, for example, are made up of proteins. Your muscles in your body, for example, is composed of myosin and actin filaments. Those are proteins, okay? Your skin is composed of keratin. Your hair is composed of keratin, for example. Your keratin is the most prominent example of proteins. Okay. In your blood, for example, your blood is composed of hemoglobin. Your hemoglobin is also a protein. So we are made up of proteins, right? So this central dogma of life is really important for you to remember as we go on with our next succeeding lessons. Okay? So let's go back to your nucleus. Your nucleus is um has a certain parts okay so you have your nuclear membrane your nucleoplasm your nuclear pores and of course the most dense part would be the nucleolus right so here in this picture you can see here the nucleolus your um, nuclear envelope as well, your chromatin fibers, your nucleoplasm here, the lilac colored space here, okay? So this is your nucleoplasm, okay? And of course, in the next image, you, you can see the, the nuclear pore, okay? Here, okay, so let's discuss. The nuclear membrane or the nuc the 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 nuclear envelope your nuclear membrane is also known as your nuclear envelope but mainly we call it as your nuclear membrane it is a two-layered outer limit of the nucleus separating it from the cytoplasm if this is the cytoplasm of your cell here in the, the in this arrow here, in this pointer, okay? If this is your cytoplasm, then it really separates the, nu the nucleus, okay, from the cytoplasm, right? It contains ribosomes on its outer membrane, as you can see here, okay? These are ribosomes, okay? 
it is also continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. This picture it has been cut, so unfortunately we cannot see the 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 nuclear membrane that is connected to your rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so the nucleus. Oh, sorry. The dense protein-rich substance inside the nucleus is called your nucleoplasm. Okay, where the spher the spherical and the non-membrane bound nucleolus is suspended. This nucleolus is responsible for ribosome formation. It is where your ribosomes are being produced. Okay? It is uh, rich in proteins and nucleic acids, and it is where your rRNA is transcribed and assembled. Okay? I think you have already learned from your junior high school years, way back from your junior high school years, that your RNA, RNA has three major types, right? You have your rRNA or your ribosomal RNA, your tRNA or your transfer RNA, and your mRNA, also known as your messenger RNA, right? So they are suspended here. So next we have your nuclear pore, okay? This nuclear pore here can be seen in the nuclear envelope. The pores act as selective channels between the cytoplasm okay, and the inside of the nucleus, selectively allowing molecules which contain the correct localization signals to pass in and out of the nucleus. Okay, These are short cylinders of eight regular subunits and a central granule. Okay. So found inside the nucleus is your chromatin fibers, right? In this picture, you have your chromatin fibers, which is made up of your DNA and proteins and forms chromosomes during cell division. Okay? Let me share my uh, or another tab with you. So here, wait for a while. Okay, so you have here, um, as you can see here, if this is your chromosome during cell division, for example, if you stretched your chromosome, then you can see um, the chromatin fibers that is present in this particular chromosome. Then this chromatin fibers is made up of your DNA, of course. And then your DNA will undergo the transcription and translation process for it to become your proteins as the uh, as that process goes on and on and on for example then um the 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 next organism will carry the genetic inher the the, the inherited gen genes sorry the inherited genes from their parent cell to its daughter cells right we will I'm so sorry, guys, but we will discuss that in our lesson three. That's why I keep on stuttering if I should mention the terminology or not. Okay, so this chromosome, okay, so this chromosome contains the genes inherited by the offspring from their parents, as you can see in this image here. So um, from DNA, Okay, the DNA will form a string or the string-like structure called your chromatin. And then it will undergo cell division in our cell cycle topic to become your chromosome. Your chromosome will undergo um, cell division, of course, your, your, your splitting during your um, 
stellar face, you know, the faces of your cell cycle. You will learn that eventually in our next succeeding lessons. Okay, so I guess this ends the video about the nucleus. Okay, I hope you learned something from this, and I hope I hope you um study well for the upcoming um, quizzes or. Oh, by the way, we have already, um, you have already answered the summative piece, right? So unfortunately, this video will be <laughs> somewhat of a delay, but you can use this video. You can make use of this video in preparation for your um, major examination, right? So I guess this, uh, this will be the last part or the end of this video. I hope you guys... Uh, I wish you guys um, a good night, a good night's sleep for tonight. So thank you and bye.